3 million people ride a bike each week in Australia, which is a huge increase in the last three years. Sadly, with that influx of people, we're seeing accidents double. The biggest danger is other vehicles on the road. When a human body comes up against a one-ton piece of metal, it's very clear which one's going to come off worse. Technology has been making cars safer for years. Why not cycling? We chose to partner with Arenberg because they've got a great smart safety helmet and we've got 5G connectivity with high speed and low latency. And we really wanted to bring those two technologies together. All the road users are sharing the information in real time with each other. We're able to then put that into the cloud, make intelligent decisions and then send down alerts as appropriate. Car on left. A few milliseconds makes a huge difference with 5G. The high speed and low delay that it brings is essential. To be able to have the information quickly at hand has a huge potential to save lives. I was really surprised by how quick the information came to me. Road works ahead. And it didn't impede my ability to hear the environment. I was really quite taken by the engagement of it. I wanted to keep riding past obstacles so I could hear it some more. Car door opening. I saw her eyes light up when she got that first alert around a door opening in front. And just, I think, that sort of penny dropping of understanding of, of how this technology will, will really help people. 5G will change not only the, the future of cycling, I think it'll change the future of transport overall. Connected cars, connected trucks, connected cyclists, vehicles starting to talk to traffic lights. Really all of them working in cooperation and 5G is the enabler for that. It's only the start of the project which is really exciting. Where this can go is profound, I think.